<coughs> Germany. I, I hope England, but I think France. No, I'm going to stick with England. I reckon got it. Max? Probably France, but I hope it's Germany. Who do you think is going to be in the final? Not a clue. Anything? I could answer that. I didn't want, I didn't want to say France and Germany because I don't even know if they're in the same group. I don't have a clue. Um, who do I, what, yeah, what question you got for me, Dale? Who's, who's going to win the Euros to start with? Who's going to win? Uh, Wales. Uh, no, I think obviously England have got a good chance. It, you, know, you always get excited about them, but France from obviously the last tournament. Um, but obviously Portugal will be dark horses and stuff. But it's 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 interesting because there's a lot of good teams that can. What does everybody think to the England squad? Too many right backs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like he's the wrong person for it. I feel like. We've got such a good young attacking side. I think he's too defensive with it. It's Negative. Like, he's always, yeah, you know, like always willing to put like two older midfielders in instead of just going for it a bit more. I think. Those friendly games were a bit boring. Yeah, I just feel like like this team's probably one of the best we've had in years. I just think their things are right on for it. Yeah, I second that. I completely agree. You just need to be a bit braver and actually try go and get results rather than just try absorb pressure and hit teams <coughs> on the counter-attacks, we've definitely got talent. Mm. Who do you think the key players are going to be for England then? Um, Kane, obviously. Yeah, Kane, I think. We'll have a starting think. goal as well. I think Henderson will be crucial for us as well, a bit of leadership, because we've got quite a young side. A leader in there to drive everyone. I think Lord Prowse would have been, but he should have definitely been in the team. No one's saying Grealish now. I was going to yeah, say, say Grealish. Grealish. Yeah, Foden. Grealish. Fire Wild. Grealish, Grealish, Foden, Mount, Kane. Based on the friendly, it's definitely yeah. Grealish. Yeah. What do you all make of Grealish? He's, he's just got that different to everyone else, really. Um, just the way he can glide with the ball and stuff and make things happen. And he's a bit fearless, which I think is important going into these tournaments, especially when you play against the bigger teams. Um, like I say, we hope we'll have more of the ball, um, but it's not always the case. But Grealish can get us out of trouble um, to get us on the pitch and stuff. So I think he'll, he'll be massive. I think for me, he has to start, definitely. What about Raheem? Is he a match winner as well? <coughs> yeah, well, he's been, you know, he's a top side, unbelievable side. So, but yeah, I wouldn't like to be, obviously, Gareth picking the team because it is, it is a tough decision. But um, I think as long as, yeah, the likes of Grealish and Sterling with that bit more of experience, I suppose, as well. Um, but and then there's also Foden, who's, for me, unbelievable, who deserves to be in. So, yeah, it is hard. Tough game on Sunday against Croatia. Tough opening game for England. Yeah, and you want to go? You think go it's tough? Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, I don't. We don't need to overcomplicate it from the last game. Like, I know we lost, but I just think we need to stick stick to our stick to our game. Just play how we play. Get get the ball to the likes of like Grealish and Foden, and just let them do what they do. Just just like get our revenge back on them. I think. Not worry about the opposition. Yeah, just don't overthink from the last game. Just play to what we're good at. I think we're a different side from the World Cup. That we've got a lot more youth involved. A lot mm. more players have actually. Croatia are aging a bit as well. Yeah. We've got a lot of players who are good on the ball and yeah, I, th I think we'll do Croatia this time. How far do you think England can go? Depends if we win the group or not. I think like if we win the group we play the runners up from either France, Germany, Portugal or Hungary's group. Time? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so something, something like that. So I think if we don't make the semi-finals it's a failure really. Yeah. yeah. Big game next week against Scotland as well. Yeah, have to win that. Win, I mm, yeah, definitely. How many fans are allowed in, do you know? For that? Mm, uh, Are you sure? 20 or 1,000, 20 or 1,000. But I know Scots is all English, or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that'll be a big help this year, though, as well. Because like, everyone's not been used to fans for the yeah. last year. Yeah. I think now that the stats coming back in, yeah, especially the more the games are at Wembley, they might actually go for it instead of being yeah. away abroad. Maybe they might actually go for it. But 
you know, just be that bit of passion again though, weren't there, around the pitch and around the stadium. So what do you think of Scotland? We've got a young, a young side and probably... They've got some, I feel like they've got some decent players through there, like McTominay, they've got Jamie Robertson, who's one that plays for Villa? McGinn. Yeah, he's, he's a good player, isn't he? Yeah, decent, decent 11 definitely. Um, but like I said, they've, they've just got through with that penalty shootout. So um, I think if they, they come up to a team that has got that bit of quality, then it might be a struggle. But yeah, like I said they've, they've definitely got a chance of getting out of the groups with us, I think. Um, yeah, we'll see. I just don't think they've got the depth. Like They've, <coughs> they've got a decent starting 11, but you look past that and. I can't, you don't Champions really see, yeah. Right, yeah. and it's not the standard you need to be to be doing well in European competitions. Perhaps the same with Wales as well, they've got a lot of championship players, um, they've got a bit of experience as well with Gareth Bale, he's probably going to be key for them as well, isn't he? Yeah, match of fun, yeah. Or is he past it? Yeah, he always turns up, doesn't he? Nah, he's still got it in him, still definitely got it in him. Yeah. We ended the season dead well with Spurs, didn't he? So he'll be uh, confident. So how do you think Wales will do? They've got a tough group. It's the league. Is it Turkey? Turkey yeah, I think, I think Turkey will do well. They've um, got Sionchu, Yilmaz, who's been doing well for it. Lil, is it? Not into FIFA anymore. What was the question? Was it about Wales again, was it? Yeah. What was the question? How do you think Wales will do? They'll do alright. <laughs> What's um, alright? Like <laughs> same as Scotland, like they've got a good team. Um, you see how like England have got like um, pretty much a full a full squad of from one to seven the top top Premier League players and, and from the top teams. I think Scotland have obviously got some great players as well, like the lads said, but you know, a few of them are a bit Maybe a bit worse teams in the Premier League than, than what England have got. That might might make a difference. It might not, but you just don't know, do you? What does a uh, fellow Welshman think of the Welsh side? I think uh, definitely not to write them off. Um, they're definitely um, dark horses in the tournament. Obviously, they, they were successful last tournament um, in 26. That's the semi-finals. Yeah, exactly, and um, and deserved it. And I I think the squad's just as good, if not better this year, this year in, team, in terms of how they play, they know what they're doing, they've been hard to beat, the results are going in on good form, so I think um, yeah, definitely got a big chance and like you say, you've got stars like Bale who knows what it's like on the big stage and can create big moments and score big goals which they need, but um, I think they're, they're, the players are a team all, all together and I think um, they are definitely uh, dark horses and then can repeat like I say in 2016. Have you met any of their players? Yeah I know a few of them, a few of them have come up from the under 21 so I wish them the best of luck. They're uh, absolutely made up to be in the squad and it's unbelievable experience <coughs> and that so yeah so like I say I want them to do really really. It's been literally full on, they've been with the squad since since then for weeks and weeks planning for this so and they've uh, flew out to Baku like the other week so yeah wish them uh, Good luck, and uh, yeah, like, like I say, it's just unbelievable experience for them, and um, they're not just there just to be involved, uh, uh, just to, do you know what I mean, be on the side. So I think they've got a chance of playing, and also Wales, Wales, like I say, got a chance of actually getting far in the tournament and creating something. So yeah, it's massive. But yeah, they'll be obviously the, the side of the family will be right behind them, definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. Was he your granddad on your mum or your dad's side? He was my dad's side, so my dad's side's all from the west side and my mum's like Quimbarians, so they're, they're, they'll be full on England. Everybody looking forward to it? Yeah, can't wait. It's nice to just, like I said, talking about fans and that earlier, it's nice to like put a game on the telly and just have that atmosphere back again. Just enjoy, <coughs> wanting, wanting to watch the football again and just enjoying it. It's not been the same watching the Premier League no, though, no, has it? No, it's not. It's been, I don't know, it's weird because like, 
you look at it and you think it's weird, but it's something I think we've all got used to now. Like watching a game on the telly, you just, you're used to just not seeing from it's, now, it's, ru it's rubbish, isn't it? No. no. I like watching it, it's just, it is not the same. Even if you're at home watching it, it's just not the same. I think the whole, the whole season's just not at the right effect right? and it just shows you can do everything but without fans in the stadium and the whole buzz the whole it makes the whole day um so yeah as, as quick as that can happen and then we'll finally get football back up i believe so hopefully this year is just the start of it and then keep the balls and then kick on to next season hopefully you sometimes not even watch it because it's yeah, you just find yourself maybe just switching off. I, I know it's friend, international friendly are a bit like that, but um, like I say, if there's fans in the tournament where it means something, then hopefully that changes people's mood that they've been accustomed to recently. So, so yeah, at least it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, has everybody that's actually been looking forward to this then? Or are you, are you yeah. sort of thinking it's going to be like the Premier League? Yeah, it's just nice to look forward to something, especially with it being your countries and that again like the togetherness the fans being back together supporting your country and I think it'll be good what do you all make of the spirit in the town with regards to Mariners at the minute um, it's all positive really so it's good seeing we've got that positivity back around the town and that things are looking up things are going the right way also I think the new owners coming in has definitely yeah. given us a major boost but just some lads Hersey's bringing in. He's he's brought some good lads from some good players from teams leagues above us. And yeah, just positivity that we think we can definitely do well with what we've got and with new lads coming in as well. What do you think of the McAtee signing? Definitely he's definitely got a lot of potential to do very well next season. Just get get a few goals and just about get his confidence up and I'm sure he'll be doing well all season. Kevin Van Vane, yes or no? Yeah, yeah we'll take him. <laughs> yeah. Despite despite his antics in front of the town fans? No comment. It's, that's whatever, isn't it? You've got to do what you've got to do when you're playing a derby game. Um, so be it, but he's a good, he's a good player. Um, any team this level or level above look to have him. This is a natural born goal scorer, but yeah. The pass is the past. If we got him then, we'd be very lucky, yeah. Have you played against him, right? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, not a very nice bloke. Yeah, he's not a very nice bloke. No, he's all right. Um, surprised he said that. No, yeah, played against him. Um, I played at home when we lost one 0 and um, he called his goal. Nasty words, didn't he? Yeah. Celebrated there, didn't he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but like I say, like that's that's a derby game. You do what you got to do, aren't you? Max would have done that in front he's, of the He's not. He's not from Scunthorpe. Yeah. The derby don't mean anything <laughs> to him. He's just rather not fans. Play the game. He knows what he's doing. So yeah. But no, it'd be nice to uh, be nice to have him to play with him instead of against him. Could you see he was a good player though when you're playing against him? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, his finishing is uh, top of the range, um, and he scored plenty of goals <coughs> the past few seasons. I know he was injured a lot last year, but um, 